I request you all to please grace your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, this educational institution has shaped and carved brave and patriotic hearts like Captain Gurbachan Singh Salaria, Paramveer Chakra, the most conspicuous award and recognition posthumously for his unflinching devotion to duty which made him an indomitable soul in the UN operation in the Belgian Congo. To that cradle of valor and learning, we extend a hearty welcome to Sri Ramnath Kovind, Honorable President of India, Srimati Savita Kovind, Honorable First Lady of India, Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, Vice Chief of Naval Staff, and all of you, ladies and gentlemen, present on this historical voyage. It's a momentous and a historic occasion to welcome the chief guest of the day for the inaugural function of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Sir, your celestial presence is a bliss and a motivation to the young minds of the school. The aura of positivity is all what one is experiencing this evening. We are truly, truly happy and delighted to welcome our guests of honor, the elite, the decorated generals, and the distinguished alumni for gracing today's occasion. Every auspicious occasion begins with lighting of the lamp. Rich are our scriptures that emphasize that. Deepak, Jyoti or Jyot represents Agni. The lighting of a lamp wipes off darkness, ignorance and unhappiness. Lamp also symbolizes abundance, prosperity and knowledge. I humbly request Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovind, to kindly light the auspicious lamp and inaugurate the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. I request Honorable First Lady Srimati Savita Kovind to accompany Honorable President of India. I'd like to also request our guests of honor, Honorable Governor and Chief Minister of Karnataka and Vice Chief of Naval Staff to kindly join the ceremony. for lighting the lamp and marking the ceremonial inauguration of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of Rashtriya Military School, Bengaluru. Ladies and gentlemen, I gazed and gazed but little thought what wealth the day to me had brought. Rashtriya Military School, Bengaluru is thrilled and the campus is decorated with silhouette of vibrance with the benign presence of the Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovind, the First Lady of India, Srimati Savita Kovind, Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Tavarchand Gehloth, Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sri Baswaraj Bamai, and Vice Admiral S. N. Gormade, PVSM, AVSM, NM, ADC, here amongst us today. Nothing can be more pleasurable and apt than to honor our distinguished dignitaries. I request Cadet Number 1593 Nehru House, Lieutenant General Sanjeev Sharma, Ati Vishish Seva Medal, Youth Seva Medal, Deputy Chief of Army Staff Strategy to kindly do the honors. Please join me welcome the pride of the school, the man at the forefront who rose to the standards wherein he has become an ideal and an icon to emulate for the young cadets with a huge round of applause.
I request Lieutenant General Sanjeev Sharma to kindly honor the Honorable President of India. First Lady of India, ma'am, your presence made it clear that simplicity is the best sophistication. I request Lieutenant General Sanjeev Sharma to please felicitate the Honorable First Lady of India, Srimati Savita Kovind. Our guest of honor, Honorable Governor of the State, Sri Tavarchan Gehloth. A person whose heart beats for the upliftment of the neglected and forgotten people in the society, an embodiment of simple living and high thinking. I request Lieutenant General Sanjeev Sharma, <laughs> Honorable Governor of Karnataka. Our guest of honor, Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sri Baswaraj Bumai, a man of the people, an unfathomable personality with exuberant energy and enthusiasm. Please join us, welcome, Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka. Thank you, Lieutenant General Sanjeev Sharma, for doing the honors. From the time of its inception, Rashtriya Military School Bengaluru has been that oyster which has given wonderful pearls in the service of motherland. We feel proud that one amongst them is here to welcome the Honorable Chief Guest and the Guests of Honor. Bearing cadet number 1690 from Shastri House, Vice Admiral S.N. Gormade, Param Vishesh Seva Medal, Ati Vishesh Seva Medal, No Sena Medal, ADC. He is the pride of Rashtriya Military School, Bengaluru. Please join us to welcome Vice Chief of Naval Staff for the opening address with a huge round of applause. Sri Ramnath Kovind, Honorable President of India, and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Srimati Savita Kovind, the First Lady, Sri Thavar Chand Gehlot, Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Baswaraj Bomai, Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, distinguished and elite guests, alumni, principal, teachers, cadets, ladies and gentlemen. It's a matter of great pride and distinct honor that Sri Ramnath Kovind, Honorable President of India, has graced this occasion and given his valuable time for our school, sir. It's my singular honor and privilege as an ex-school boy of this hallowed institution to welcome the Honorable President, the First Lady, and this august gathering for this special and memorable event. Delving into the illustrious history of this institution, the erstwhile King George's Royal Indian Military College, founded by King George VI on 1st August 1946, has undergone tremendous transitions in the last 75 years before settling into its current avatar as Rashtriya Military School, Bangalore. In 1952, the school was named as King George's School, in 1966 as Bangalore Military School, and in 2007, Rashtriya Military School, Bangalore, and fully Atmanirbhar. The journey to the Platinum Jubilee has been one of constant growth, evolution, advancement, and evolution in many myriad ways and in many spheres. The institution has always remained close to the lives and hearts of all those who were and are associated with it, as it is not only a school imparting education, but an edifice laying 
the foundation of strong character and ethos at an early age, staying true to its motto, Shilam Param Bhushnam, translating to character is the highest virtue. No doubt the school was ranked in India's top 10 boarding schools with 8th ranking in India and 2nd in Bengaluru and Karnataka by the education world just a few years before back. Many of our school cadets have joined the honorable service of arms for the nation. The battlefield is an unrelenting space demanding courage, perseverance, and character. The proudest achievement of this institution, as was brought out earlier, in the battlefield of independent India has been that of Captain Gurbachan Singh Salaria, who was awarded the Param Veer Chakra for his heroic gallantry of the highest order, making the supreme sacrifice in the call of duty. In the last 75 years, this school has produced many more illustrious alumni, national leaders, uh, such as highly decorated officers, civil servants, CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, Olympians, doctors, engineers, inventors, academicians, theatre artists, and the list is endless. Some names that readily come to mind are Mr. Rajendran Christie, the goalkeeper of Indian hockey team that won the gold medal in 1964 Summer Olympics at Tokyo and bronze medal in 1968 Summer Olympics at Mexico City. Mr. M. Gabriel won the silver medal in 200 meters in 1951 Asian Games. Sri N. A. Harris, the MLA of the very constituency our school is located in, Honorable Mr. Justice Pradeep Singh Yaroor, High Court of Karnataka, our proud alumnus of this school and present here today. Business leaders and magnates like Sir Arun Singh, ex-CEO of Vodafone, conferred with a knighthood, Mr. Bridge Mohan Sharma, Chairman India Health Insurance Private Limited, Dhyanchan Lifetime Award recipient, Mr. Satish Pillay, an athlete, Shri Tanvir Seth, MLA at Mysore, ex-speaker of Arunachal Pradesh constituency, Mr. T. N. Thondok, Mr. Santosh Menon, Secretary of Karnataka State Cricket Association, who is also here, Dr. Saju Joseph, High Performance Director for Sports and has been the coach of Indian hockey team for 1994 to 2005, Sarfraz Khan, Assistant Commissioner BBMP, and many others alumnus are here. In addition, Anil Sarawat, who has been the pillar and great help to every cadet, this school has produced able citizens and leaders for our great nation in all walks of life and profession. We are honored to have Mr. Jaipal, cadet number 36, and Mr. Balakrishna, cadet number 39, from the first batch of the school in 1946. For the younger generation, the prominent names I mentioned made history and even now miracles can happen if you push the limits, focus in the right direction, work hard, remain consistent and continue with a zeal to excel. I urge all our cadets to be fearless, dream big and craft a career for themselves which stands meaningful in every walk of life and contribute towards nation building. We are fortunate that our Platinum Jubilee celebrations coincide with the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav of our nation. This institution has done wonders in producing responsible citizens and leaders who have partaken the, in the efforts of nation building and it is thanks to the underlying spirit of the school that infuses the teachers and students following the Guru Shishya philosophy with the essence of character and achievement. 
I am positive that my alma mater will continue to yield alumni who will be examples of discipline, duty, honor, courage, integrity, inspiration, overall worthy future generations and future leaders of our great nation. To reiterate again, our motto, Shilam Parambhushnam, constantly reminds us to be of strong character and virtuous in life. Respect your elders, your teachers, and remember always that the identity of being from this school is a responsibility and privilege for you will be recognized by your pedigree first and then as an individual. I wish you all sound health, all the happiness, all the luck, peace of mind, and success in all endeavors as you progress in the service of our nation in any field that you choose. Jai Hind. Thank you so much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, a span of seven and a half decades of an educational institution like that of ours has countless stories in its bosom, lessons of valor in its heart, and service for the nation in its mind. This is a humble trial to capture the huge ocean into tiny palms. Let's now see a glimpse of the Rashtriya Military School Bengaluru from then to the present times. A cadet is loyal to his school and country. He is physically fit, mentally alert, and morally straight. He is disciplined and obeys orders. He chooses harder right instead of easier wrong. He does not lie, steal, or abet the same. And, above all for a cadet, honor is supreme, and he shall place service before self. Where the lessons for valor and leadership never end, this statement literally holds true for Rashtriya Military School, Bengaluru. One of India's finest boarding school, the RMS Bengaluru, is a premier institute that is proud of its rich heritage and traditions. Not just any school, this institute is driven with quality values, disciplined in military ethos and encourages a great learning culture among its cadets. At the threshold of Platinum Jubilee, the school takes pride in not just being a stepping stone in quality education, but also instilling the pursuit of excellence for life ahead. Today, RMS Bengaluru has a 75 years of distinguished track record in dedicated commitment towards developing young boys into leaders of tomorrow. Fondly known as the Georgians, in honor of its founding father, every cadet who has ever walked through the portals of the school shall always look forward with confidence and look back with pride. With a nucleus of 100 South Indian boys, 50 from Jalandhar and 50 from Ajmer, the King George Royal Indian Military College had its origin in Bengaluru in August 1946. In 1966, King George schools were renamed as military schools. With the changing socio-political conditions, the affiliation to the University of Cambridge was replaced by CBSE. The motto was changed from play the game to Shilam Param Pushanam, which means character is the highest virtue. In 2007, the school got its present name Rashtriya Military School. The school is dedicated to prepare cadets to qualify the CBSE examinations and alongside a career orientation to join Indian Army.
as we celebrate the Platinum Jubilee, it's time to look back at the forefathers and the strong legacy left for us by many to work towards with gratitude in our hearts. There has never been a time when the world needs a Georgian more than today. I'm sure it was so heartening to see how the school's comprehensively integrated training program helps the cadets exercise every fiber of the body, enables them to take on taxing tasks of the days ahead with animated anticipation, exuberant enthusiasm, and the agile alertness of an ideal athlete. As we move on, ladies and gentlemen, special covers are envelopes affixed with numerous memories of the Platinum Day celebrations beside the stamps. We request Major General M.K. Khan, Additional Directorate General of the Army Postal Services on the dais. I'd like to request our Honorable President of India to kindly release the special cover of the Rashtriya Military School, Bengaluru, and mark the historic achievement. I'd like to thank our Honorable President of India for releasing the special cover. Ladies and gentlemen, our souvenir is a collection of historical moments with all the shades of life in the school from 1946 to the present day. I'm glad to share that on successful completion of its 75 years legacy, the school has prepared a Platinum Jubilee souvenir. This special issue showcases all the significant milestones, achievements, transitions that the institution has traversed. This publication mirrors its entire glorious journey studded with numerous landmark achievements. It also pays a tribute to all those who contributed to the growth and the glory of the institution's odyssey. The Platinum Jubilee souvenir brought out on this occasion captures the most momentous attention of all. I'd like to request the Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Tavar Chandgelo, to kindly release the Platinum Jubilee souvenir. I congratulate the team headed by Ms. Sarita Sharma, Assistant Master English, who worked artlessly and persistently for bringing out the commemorative volume. I'd like to also express my hearty gratitude to all those of you who contributed in varied ways for the assimilation of this coffee table book. Let this publication serve as a constant source of inspiration and repository for the coming generations to carry its rich legacy forward. We wish that the intrinsic value of this work reaches out to a wide spectrum. Ladies and gentlemen, today this 
Chanakya Auditorium has been brightly illuminated with the presence of a galaxy of stars this evening. The electrifying and illustrious presence affects a sudden expansion of spirit, positive energy and enthusiasm which will be an inspiring story forever. May I now request our Honourable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovin, to please address us all. Governor of Karnataka, Sri Thavarchan Gehlodji, Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sri Basavraj Bomaiji, Vice Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral S.N. Ghor Madeji, Principal Lieutenant Colonel Deepankar Chaudhary Ji, alumni of the school and dear cadets, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here in this special function organized to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of Rashtri Military School, Bengaluru. I congratulate all the cadets, teachers, alumni, and staff members on this special occasion. Since it was established in 1946, the school has come a long way and is acknowledged as one of the finest boarding schools in the country. This region comprising modern Karnataka has shown the highest examples of spirituality, art, architecture, science, education and bravery through centuries. Indians will forever cherish the contribution of Field Marshal K. M. Karyappa who was the son of this soil. As you all know, he was the first Indian commander-in-chief of our army and one of the two generals honored with the rank of Field Marshal, the highest rank attainable in the Indian Army. It was my privilege to inaugurate General Museum dedicated to another great son of Karnataka at Madikeri last year. Both these great generals from Karnataka will forever be remembered as two of our finest military commanders. Ladies and gentlemen, Karnataka has emerged as a leading center of modern education and technology. I am happy to note that Karnataka got the top rank among all the states in the latest India Innovation Index. Bengaluru has emerged as a globally comparable center of learning, technology, and enterprise. I am told that in a recent report, Bengaluru figured among the top five venture capital funding hubs across the world in 2021. Under the guidance of the Governor Sri Thavarchand Gailoth and the leadership of the Chief Minister Sri Basav Raj Bhumai, Karnataka has been making remarkable strides. I congratulate the entire team of the state government for the praiseworthy achievements of Karnataka. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, Rashtri military schools were conceived with the aim of providing quality education to the wards of army personnel. But later, the schools were opened to civilians. I am happy to note that Rashtriya military schools are truly national in character. I am told that at present, cadets from 23 states are receiving education in this school. From Jammu and Kashmir to Kerala, the cadets here represent our unity in diversity. I am sure that this intermingling has helped the cadets to learn and appreciate the culture, language, and traditions of their fellow cadets. Today, Rashtriya Military School Bangalore can feel justifiably proud of its rich heritage. The alumni of this school have distinguished themselves 
as highly decorated military officers, eminent judges, political leaders, civil servants, entrepreneurs, sports persons, performing artists, and achievers in many other fields of excellence. My dear cadets, it must be a matter of pride for all of you that one of your distinguished alumni, Captain Gurbachan Singh Salaria, was given the nation's highest gallantry award, Parambir Chakra, posthumously for his courageous actions and making the supreme sacrifice during a UN operation in Congo. I have been delighted to confer distinguished service decorations on some of the alumni of your school at Rashtrapati Bhavan. One of them, Vice Chief of Naval Staff, S.N. Gurmade, happens to be present here. I awarded him the Param Vishist Seva Medal about a fortnight ago. I was pleasantly surprised to see Lieutenant General C.P. Kariyappai, MGS, receiving me here on behalf of the school as its alumnus. Some of you may be aware of the fact that he was once my military secretary. He used to talk passionately about this school. I am happy to recall having conferred upon him the Ati Visist Seva Medal. I am confident that the impressive list of the school's alumni will inspire you to follow their examples and serve the nation with distinction. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to know that from this academic year onwards, girl cadets are going to get admissions into Rashtri military schools across the country. As you all know, starting this year, the gates of the National Defense Academy have also been opened for girls. Our daughters are breaking many glass ceilings and setting new records in various fields, making the country proud. When I travel to different universities and institutes across the country, I witness many instances of girls outshining boys. As the Supreme Commander, I am happy to see the rising number of women in the armed forces, including the combat roles. I am happy to note that recently, Captain Avilasha Barak became the first women officer to join the Army Aviation Corps as a combat aviator. I am confident that the girl cadets joining this prestigious school will contribute in defending the nation and play their role in nation building. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a happy coincidence that the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of the schools are coinciding with Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav being celebrated across the country. I am happy to know that a highly educative cycling expedition come motivation campaign was organized by the school. Under the campaign, cadets and staff of the school covered a distance of 1,800 kilometers. They inspired people to join the armed forces and narrated the stories of India's freedom movement in remote villages of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and Puducherry. I compliment the school for such patriotic initiatives. My dear cadets, your school motto, Shilam Param Bhushanam, or character is the highest virtue, should always be the guiding light for all of you. I am confident that the school will continue to provide holistic education to you and future cadets and inculcate in you military ethos and discipline. I am sure that your school will continue to produce leaders with high moral values who will take India forward as a strong and front-ranking nation. I wish you all a very bright future. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you so much, sir. We extend a heartfelt gratitude for your scholarly words of wisdom and knowledge, which will continue to inspire and motivate our young minds to eternity. For those wonderful words, let's once again hear it for the Honorable President of India.
as we thank you all for gracing this occasion today i'd like to request all of us to please once again rise for the national anthem 